I went as off brand as I possibly could. I wrote sex, and, and as in as in sexual intercourse. Are you talking specifically Peno, or are you talking foreplay as well? Because that uh, can all count as sex. You oh, said Peno. Yeah, I didn't know what pen I meant until you said all four play as well. And then I had to work my way backwards and solve it. And it's absolutely revolting. Um, I, think I imagine just like a tree trunk. And then instead of leaves and stuff, it's just like a massive orgy. And uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want it. I think it sounds horrible. But uh, I, I, I thought that maybe that would throw off the scent. And when, when someone had written delicious milk chocolate pudding, I thought I would much rather have that. <laughs> I like dark chocolate, sure. Sorry, Finn. I enjoy it. I like it. Would you normally go, would you go above 70? Would you go 80? Normally I wouldn't, no. But right now, I think it's a controlled environment. You know, I'm, I'm in the flat. I feel like sting in the rainforest doing ayahuasca or whatever for the first time. I'm all about the lint chocolate. Get me a, get me a bar of that. I'll wham it into lint mint chocolate. Like inject that into my main artery. Let's talk. Put it into my eyes. Let's massage it into my bits and bobs. If it Let's went go. into your eyes, Jen, you would have a lint mint squint. Thank you. <laughs> He's out. He's out. He's actually locked himself <laughs> off. Okay, so, uh, so James Acaster seems to have dropped the mic uh, with the lint mint squint. <laughs> So, um, uh, Finn, I think Winnie is probably going to have to play. Right. So, uh... Does James don't have to get back in now he's dropped the mic? Honestly, we... Winnie has a look of the A-cast <laughs> 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 um, James, James we've you... established since you've gone that you and Winnie look a little bit similar. Oh! <laughs> Is that what you thought had happened? I'd close my laptop and run, run to Finn's house, jumped on his lap. <laughs> jumped off my lap. Look a bit like me. Do, do we share any characteristics, Finn? No. No, he doesn't walk around talking about being an undercover cop and like an apricots. You, you got all that to look forward to when she grows yeah. up, right? I made my own peanut butter cups once and it was Ed Gamble's Halloween party. So I just put them in a big bowl and, and called them werewolves. And then all night we kept eating them and then howling like werewolves. Um, and apart from the howling, did they go down well? Yeah, it went down really well. A lot of people said that they felt like they could um, climb up a mountain after eating one of them. They were very sweet. I put a lot of sugar sugar in them, a lot of ice and sugar and peanut butter. And I even lugged some raisins in there as well because I had them lying around and I was feeling creative. But really, the most fun bit was howling like a werewolf every time. <laughs> did you have to tell people to howl before they ate them? No. Basically, uh, what was great about it is a lot of comics at the party, so you just have to make sure you're the first one to do it, and then everyone else realises it'll be funny if they continue to do it. Was Stuart Lee at the party? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was fun. He kept it. Yeah, he was. He, he was doing the werewolf sounds all the time. Not fired. <laughs> Such a laugh. Liked us all and respected us. May I add? <laughs> <laughs> and then went online and wrote about how much he likes and respects you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he didn't. The character of Stuart Lee did. Yeah. Um, my question is, what is your secret opinion that you would never put out on the internet for fear of being publicly shamed? All old people should be <laughs> euthanized. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Said that to me in bars before <laughs> into my ears. I've known yep. that. I've wanted it out in <laughs> No need for any further explanation there? Yeah, no, I do, actually. I want to know your definition of old people. Yes. Uh, Is it over, anyone, over 50? Anyone older than me, really. Anyone, anyone older than me? Um, That's me. Me. <laughs> and me. Yep. Then it's just a head-to-head, -head, me versus Taylor. At the... <laughs> Instantly get rid of my competition in this game show. That's all, I, that's all I'm focused on. Right now. <laughs> it's my whole life. So are you... Well, Obviously, I don't believe that, Mark, and that is not an opinion that I actually hold, but I thought I, I would say something that sounds like or maybe someone would think that. And also, you know, Jen might think that. I've seen Jen do stand-up. She hates old people. Misjudged the situation at a kid's gig and alluded to the fact that I'd slept with a parent in the audience. Fucking hell. I want to say Finn for that one. <laughs> <laughs> 
think okay. Finn's too edgy for that. Finn would not have insinuated he'd slept with one of the parents, put it that way. He's an <laughs> edge lord. <laughs> You're right. That's not edgy enough for Finn. Oh. Right, that's off the table. Why well, I had to stop doing those gigs, man. My ex-girlfriend's <laughs> on the front row. <laughs> what professional sports personality do you think you could beat in a fight? Obviously, James, you're a massive, massive sports fan. Yeah, well, sure. I, 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 I know what you're insinuating there. I don't, I don't really, I'm not massively into sport, but I would like to be in a fight. And have you got a name of the person that you would want to fight? I think there's a lot of footballers who, like whatever the last footballer I saw dive, you know, whoever that was, I think they deserve to get, get a good old pounding. You think you could? Yeah, I could get pretty angry and wound up. You know, I think if I if I really like if I if I had a run up, and like they weren't expecting it, I think I could beat them up. You mean just like with your fist, just run up with your fist out. Yeah, I would run up with my fist out like that, but I'd also grab them around the neck. So run from behind them, and then you grab them, and then you punch them in the head, and then that's that's my start move. But so, so in doing that, I'd topple them and punch them, and then I'd just keep on punching. You've never been in a fight, have you, James? You've really never been in a fight. No, never. Not 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 before, no. I've got some answers for you. Tell them to me, Answer and then I'll one. try and guess who said them. Have you only just figured out the game? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that's my proposed format for this game. <laughs> I have got a cuddly rocking horse. It is over here. Oh, wow. Oh. No, that's weird. It turned oh, it weird, like, as soon as you sat on it. I quite enjoyed that. Sent <laughs> to me by a friend for a joke. <laughs> In your face, Richard Gerd. No one can be happy about that. No one. So happy. James, well done. Thanks, man. This is really, uh, this has come at the best time. We all need a bit of a lift at the moment. I'm sure that everyone involved in this Zoom call can feel much better now. Than